A potted plant, bird feeder, wind chimes, all items you might keep outside your home to keep it looking beautiful. But anything that's left out in the open may also be a prime target for thieves. Homeowners in one St. Petersburg neighborhood know that all too well. But as Crime Tracker 10's Hannah Deneen explains, there are things you can do to protect your property. My yard's my therapy as well. I'm out here all the time. From a faux koi pond to bright rows of flowers, Monica Doolin's front yard is something to behold. I think it adds a lot to the community and just the neighborhood. But resting on a busy road in St. Petersburg's Central Oak Park neighborhood, people have been taking a bit of her happy place for themselves. It's sad to see that happen over and over again, and it's a little bit discouraging. Three times this year, ornaments from her front yard have been stolen, all caught on her home camera. And she says she's not alone. All of our neighbors are experiencing things like this. St. Petersburg police say they record such property thefts nearly every day. Petty theft, though it is petty theft, it is still a crime. It's just a little bit harder to prosecute. St. Pete PD crime prevention specialist Chip Wells says there are steps you can take to prevent this from happening to your home. There's a few things you can do. First thing, keep it close to your house because the further out, the easier it is for somebody to grab and go. Also, keep your property well lit. And for added protection, consider securing it with cement. Make it hard enough that they don't want to take it, that they want to move on down the road. Because most of the time, this is just a crime of opportunity. If someone does steal from you, no matter the item's value, he urges you to report it. Most people don't report it. You know, so we really don't know how much is, is occurring. It gives us an idea of what's happening where in the city. We can't fix something if we don't know where it is. Monica Doolin has reported each of these thefts, and police are still investigating. She says $5 or $5,000. This isn't about an item's value. It's about respect. For some people, it might not be a big deal, but it wasn't theirs. And if it's not yours, don't touch it.